And this will be Gordon ringing up about his anorak, will it? Uh, Gordon. <laughs> ah, Gordon, how are you? How you doing? Who is I've this? Got, I've got football memorabilia and I've got a footballer in the supermarket. OK, go on. Uh, the football memorabilia was when I was about nine. Mm. I'm now about 50 odd, so it's going back a bit. Yeah. But uh, I asked my dad if he'd make me a bow tie. Hang uh, on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. No, hang on. What? Just say that again. <laughs> Uh, well, that's what you'd ask my dad if he'd make me a bow tie. You'd make yeah. a... Yeah. Now, first I'm... time ever on Radio 5 Live, the first sentence, I asked my father to make me a bow tie. I'm sorry, that sentence ends here. This is already my favourite call <laughs> ever. <laughs> uh, kids asked you, I should dare to make you a train, yeah? A ship, a boat. A ship, a, a boat. boat. Yeah. Uh, some kind of railway station. You asked your father... Well, it made a difference for your scarf, right? I, I wanted someone with... A bow tie. With my team's name on it. <laughs> Which team would that be, sir? <laughs> I'd love to wear a bow tie with my team's name what, on it. What? what? What team is that? Dundee United. OK, but, cool. Uh, it's great. Go on. But they're just called United. So he made it, and it was wee black triangles, uh, you know, the pointy bits. Yeah, of course. And it was white across the middle, and it had United written right across the, the middle. But, <laughs> the it, but it was made out of plywood. <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> this is too good. We're going to have to play uh, an advert. We're going to have to play an advert. You're oh, wearing... We're, we're going commercial. It'll be an advert for the next 20 I'm, minutes. I'm sorry, Gold. I'm sorry. We're not... We, as you know, we usually plough on with as we are here, but you're wearing a plywood bow tie with but Dundee United. We're just united, just across united. It. And it was two feet wide by a foot. <laughs> and it was tied on my neck with a big leather strap. <laughs> I charged away the game, absolutely delighted and delirious. But my half time I was, you know, quasi mortal dinner than the. What did you say? What did you say? You did this thing. You said, here, son, with the leather strap. Here you go, son, here's your bow tie. <laughs> clank, 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 and here's the big leather strap to tie to your neck. Oh, my God. So I weighed about a stone and a half. I bet. <laughs> so you must have ended up sort of with one of the curvature of the spine, didn't you? No. Yeah, but he, but he saw the error of his way, oh, so. Man. So next week. He produced, a, he produced a big pole, and <laughs> I went away in the match like a Roman centurion, you know. What was the pole for, sorry? The pole, the, 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 the bow tie was strapped to the pole, <laughs> <laughs> like a Roman standard. <laughs> so, I went, I marched it, but of course... I, like a Roman standard, you're making it worse, don't keep oh, doing this. Oh, Gordon, this is my favourite oh. ever, and I've been doing this a while. Well, that's I'm sorry, I've gone. And for the other quick thing. You just no, the... no, hang on, just give no. me a minute. Don't, you don't have to fill the space. Sometimes it's good to have dead here. Let me yeah. just get over this. What, just going back, yeah. why, why did you want a bow tie? I, I hope it's... Why does anybody want anything? I didn't want no, 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 seriously. Not good uh, enough. A rattle, yes. A banner, yes. You know, a scarf, as you say, a hat. I already had a rattle. Oh. <laughs> that was me that I cast iron as well, so... I just said that. Anyway, oh, no, sorry, Gordon. Karen, you said there's one other thing. Yeah, yeah all right. That was... Did, did, did you watch Sky during the week? I know it's a Scottish match. Did you watch Rangers oh, against United? I saw manager? bits and pieces. Yeah. I, don't, I, I didn't see it. We all, well, you know, anyway, anyway the, the, guy, guy just week. Go on. the guy who crossed the... <laughs> don't tell me there was somebody in the crowd <laughs> wearing your bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, go on. The guy who crossed the ball for Richard Goff to score an own goal, which was brilliant, because Richard mm. Goff used to play for us. So of course, yeah. the opposite when you were you used to say, it's good, it, when somebody comes back to a club, they always score against you, but they scored for you, so that was terrific. But anyway, the guy who crossed the ball yeah. is a player called Andy McLaren, and he shops at Tesco's in Money Feast. Ah. And I was standing w beside him, behind him actually, in the six items or less, one basket queue. Yeah. When a nearby checkout, well actually it was about sort of 15 yards away, opened. You know, you just saw the girl sitting down and putting on the light. Yeah. So we both made a dash. <laughs> for this other checkout that was opening, and I left him for dead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, good for you. I good left him for dead. Did you, did you turn around and, and kind of give him a... a... I told him, yeah. Yeah, good yeah. for you. Gordon, as yeah. I say, I'm, I'm glad you had that story, you know, you, you put the good on, because I would never, I just wouldn't have been able to take any other calls out of that. Uh, that, I'm afraid, Gordon, we may have to keep your number and have you tell that. I may have to ring you up when I'm at parties, yeah. and I can't quite remember all the oh. details. <laughs> Where's <laughs> Gordon? Wherever Tards. A two foot, of course. Yeah. Where, a two foot wide plywood bow tie. <laughs> Held um, on with a big leather strap for the first week, and the second week carried into the sound like a Roman centurion. There's one to do with this. Stick it on a pole. Well, don't feel intimidated by Golden's coin. No. Maybe, maybe the best, but please, 03459. You've only got to do better than that, and you're on the radio. <laughs>